Studio 10 has got the buzz today, and that's because we're going behind the scenes of the 50th anniversary of Jesus Christ Superstar. That's right, we're headed backstage into the dressing room to see how King Herod gets gold. And it's a super, super quick transformation. So uh, normally I have like a big blown out smoky eye for mm -hmm. my ensemble track. I just smudge that stuff off. And then we start with a clown white. This is all prepped by our hair and makeup head, Ulitsen. Yes. Um, and everything is ready to go when I get there. And it's just a layer of clown white. Okay. Um, if anybody went to theater school and had a Ben Nye kit, oh this is gosh. right out of the Ben Nye oh, kit. I do have you know, some what's some up? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> yup. Right. We want Herod to look kind of monstrous. Right. Mm -hmm. I was about to say, it was like this adds kind of a layer to the character in itself. Oh, big time. Because Herod is really wild. Nobody ever really knows what to expect. It's been done so many different ways in the 50 year history of Jesus Christ Superstar that really anything is possible. And speaking of, you said this is the 50th anniversary of Jesus Christ yes. Superstar, but what is it about your character when you play it, when you play King Herod, that's different from what you've seen before in the past? What I love about this version of Herod is that it really feels simultaneously attached to kind of a, a uh, a celebration of the history of the music and the character while also bringing it into a lens and an aesthetic that's really popular in contemporary America. <laughs> and then I prep my eyebrows mm -hmm. up top, like so. So once the eyebrows are on, we take this gold. Which and I, is a big theme throughout the show. Very, gold, gold and silver yeah. are very big themes. Um, kind of the idea of the superstar being represented right. by kind of this shiny material. So then once that is on, we get these beautiful feather lashes. These are custom made to my face. You listen, cuts them, adds embellishment to them, and it has just a little bit of glue. And I let the gold kind of dry just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then I pop these guys on really quick. I'm like trying to take notes of because I'm still saying you are <laughs> eyelash technique. <laughs> it's not too bad once you're not afraid of putting like touching your eyes. Yeah. I don't know if you wear contacts at all, yeah. but like yeah. once you're no longer afraid of touching your eye, mm -hmm. it really is super, super quick and easy. Okay. So once this is all on, this is one of my favorite parts. We add this little beauty mark. Oh. Right here on my cheek. Just a little tiny. Boom. Look at that. Boom. Just this little mark. Mm -hmm. Really, really funny. And it kind of just adds to that Baroque kind of aesthetic. Yes. Okay. Especially from far away. That's why I draw it so big, so mm -hmm. that they can see it from far away. Oh, right. Sure. And then we take this lipstick. So once the black is on and starts to dry, I take a little bit more of the gold. And then that's Herod. Wow. Yeah. Now, Herod, wow. I want to say you are also an ensemble member. Yes. And although you did this a little bit longer, you gave us a little bit more of the technique and walked us through how you did this. As you're putting on this costume, how are you taking off the ensemble role and now putting on King Herod internally? Yeah, so truly, I'm sitting in the mirror and I watch myself turn into Herod. Mm -hmm. Like, I really do look at myself in the mirror, not to sound like a hippie woo-woo mm -hmm. actor person, but I really do look at the mirror and I look at how my face literally changes. Mm -hmm. And that's the biggest tool mm -hmm. when I'm changing into Herod. So next is the hair. Okay. So you listen, uh, once she's finished with the hands, will come over to me. This yes. is usually when I step in. Once he has the black lipstick on, so we don't want to smudge anything. I mm -hmm. come in, he's grabbing this, the gold on his lips. So I just step in. Here's the crown. Here it is. Wow. So this similarly was custom built for my head. Um, and it's beautiful. It just hooks around my ear. Oh. Now we're going to move on over to the costume. Let's do it. What is the choreography like going on <laughs> from putting on this costume? So it's super quick and it's really, mm -hmm. really easy. Mm -hmm. This is the order we do it in. There's okay. also shoes that are hiding down here. Right okay. So That's what I was talking about. those are the fancy <laughs> boots. So those get prepped. But the first thing I do is I grab this. And then this is just a really simple, easy leotard. So once we have this guy on, just a little simple bow so we can rip it off at the right, end. Right, right. My change out of this is even faster. Oh my okay. goodness. And then we grab these beautiful shoes mm -hmm. and I throw these guys on. Allison pops this coat on me oh, and that's the go. whole thing. Oh there we go, gosh. we have King Herod. <laughs> yes, we love that. This so the big highlight, yeah. the big highlight of course is this big huge piece here, mm -hmm. this big coat. Mm -hmm. So this big coat gets put on on top of this okay. for the top of the number. Yeah. And then there's a big reveal that happens uh, early on in the number. And then I look like this. 
Well, thank you so much for letting us thank stop you. by. And as we, and remember, you can see this now through the 18th, but to kind of send us off, do you want to show us some of those kicks that you yep. did? Yes, of kick? course. Everybody's favorite part, these big legs. Oh, these guys here. Well, I'm going to yes, rest. Ridiculous. I'm not going to try it. There we go. Okay, we'll keep it low. Thank you. Thank you so thank much, you Eric. Thank you so much.